Okay, this last one is. Okay, this last one is right. Really, uh, the most difficult one. It's really quite difficult for a few reasons. You can't uh, make one little mistake, and it's starting to get too many little numbers all over the place. Uh, I'm just gonna just jump to to that. Uh, when I do the oxidation numbers, you'll see. But I'm just gonna jump to that because that's the oxidation of alcohols. You haven't done unit ten yet, uh, so you might not have known that. Um, so I'm just gonna deal with this one first. So the easiest way to do it is to to combine it. So if we have a C two H six O, and that goes to a C two H four O two, and so we've got a minus two and a plus one here. So that's a total of plus four uh, and minus four. So that goes to a zero. I should do this in red. Uh, red, uh, and here we have a minus two and a plus six. Uh, and so what we want here is a plus four, so that's, that's a, a plus two for the carbon. Uh, and what you have there, so what you're having is, um, sorry, that's a, that's a plus four total, so you need a minus four, so that's a minus two. Uh, and so you've got an increase in oxidation number, so that one is confirming reduction. Now, because you've got a minus, there's two double, there's double two minus there, um, there must be uh, four electrons. Uh, coming off here, uh, off here, because there's two two minuses uh, coming off to two zeros. All right, so uh, then you need to balance the charge on that, and so that's a, a four H plus uh, charge on there, and balancing it uh, for the H pluses and H two Os. We'll try and leave the carbons alone, uh, and so the H and the O, there's uh, six and one, uh, the H and the O. Uh, there's a two there, and the hydrogen is a four and four, so there's eight. And so, if we add a, uh, let's get the oxygens right. So if you add a H two O on this side, that puts that to two. So the oxygens are good, uh, and the hydrogens are eight, and so we're done. So one H two O. Okay, so that's uh, that's the fully balanced oxidation side. Moving to the reduction side now, so so we have a uh, reduction here. So because the oxygens are coming off, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, the oxygen in the uh, reaction there. So uh, Cr two O seven two minus plus H plus goes to Cr three plus plus H. Two O. So this one's quite tricky. Let's balance the atoms first. Uh, let's get the oxidation numbers going so we can balance the electrons. So that's a, a total of um, plus six. Uh, so that's sorry, that's a plus three here. Uh, it gives us a total of plus six though, um, and so that's minus two. So that's a total of minus fourteen. We only want minus. There's a minus two there, so we only want plus twelve to balance that out. So that's a plus six over there. And so to balance out the electrons, we've got a total of plus 12 here, going to a plus 6. And so we need to add 6 electrons on this side uh, for those uh, that oxidation to balance out. Uh, so 6 electrons, we'll take that to a plus 6 as well, because there's, there's the 2 and the 2. So that's really quite tricky. So the next thing we need to do is balance out the charge. And uh, so the charge on this side is plus six, uh, six plus I should say, uh, in brackets. And the charge on this side is getting pretty tricky here. So that's a seven, uh, sorry, two minus plus six is eight. That's uh, eight uh, minus plus one plus. So that's a, a seven minus charge over here. So in order to uh, get this to a six plus, we need to add uh, an extra thirteen, uh, and that will get us to the to the six plus. So an extra thirteen uh, added to this, so thirteen plus one. So that's going to give us. So we need to put fourteen. So if we put fourteen H pluses on here, both sides add up to six plus. Uh, that's nasty too. All right, and then the last thing is we need to balance out the oxygens and hydrogens. Now we're going to leave the CRs alone if we can uh, and just balance out the H's and the O's 
Uh, and so this is so complicated, I'm going to put the table out there. Uh, and so there's the 14 and the 7, uh, the H's and the O's. Uh, we have a 2 and a 1. Uh, and so let's get the O's first because the H's are easy to deal with. So throw a 7 in there. That gets us to our 7 and we don't have to touch it anymore and that's 14. Uh, and that nicely works out to 14 so we're done. Uh, so this is really quite nasty and that's the, the balanced uh, reaction for that. So I'm going to go in the middle so you can still see everything and add these two together now. And there we need to get rid of the oxygen so I'm just going to go brown on this. Um, so there's a 4 here and there's a 6 here so the lowest common multiple is 12. Uh, so a common uh, yeah multiple, I think I've said that right. So times that all by 2, so I give that a 2, uh, give that a 28 uh, give that a 4, and give that a 14, uh, and this one's we all we give that to 12 by times and everything by 3. So give that a, a 12 as well, give that a 3, and give that a 3. Uh, we can then uh, do a, a cancel out, I'll just circle it, uh, that's cancelled out uh, the 12 and 12, alright, and any waters? No. Uh, so that looks like the final equation. So I'll just write that out. Sorry, I have missed something here. Uh, that's part of the equation there, and so I didn't times that by three. Um, and so I'm missing things. I've got to keep a good close eye on these things. That's linked there, and that's linked there. Sorry about the messiness there. So that's three gone from there, so that's 11. And that's 12 gone from there. So that is 16. Okay, so let's let's put this together then. So we have, um, let's just use this thing at the top. Uh, so we have a three, a three here. Uh, we're done there. Uh, we have, what do we have? A two here. Uh, we have 16 here. I think we're done there. Uh, we have a 3 here, down there, and we have 4 here, and we have an 11 here. Okay, uh, and that's the finished balanced equation.